Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. If you want to design and build a beautiful website, you can do it all in one place with Squarespace. It just goes to show Making plans. Then she tells you she's found another man. Hello. Okay, I just set up a face camera because I realized that I'll probably maybe I could talk to you guys. Maybe that'd be good. So I got this kit from Emmy Ceramics. Her name's Melody, and now we're friends, so that's nice. But I got this about like one year ago. And I'm scared that the clay's dried up, but ceramics is something I really wanted to dip my toe into. I just have never made time for it. So I bought this kit in anticipation and still it took me a year. So let's just see what's inside, shall we? This kit comes with all that you need to create an original hand-built ceramic piece. Once you've built your piece, it's fine to leave it to dry until you have access to a kiln. Weeks, years, it doesn't affect the clay. As part of this kit, you're welcome to drop the piece off at the studio to be fired. If you're not able to safely deliver it, then look to engaging some of the local studios around you. So in this kit, I will get 800 grams of clay, a sponge, cutting wire, a ribbon tool, an instructional handbook, which I think is so cute. This is the instructional handbook on the top. I won't show you too much because I don't want to give away her intellectual property for free. And I already have an idea for what I want to do. I kind of want to make like a paint jug or like a, a paint water jug and I want it to be the shape of a mountain because you know that I've been obsessed with mountains lately. Top, we've got a ball of clay. Oh, it's so heavy and it still feels wet, yay! We've got a bunch, cutting wire, a ribbon tool and it comes with a few other things too, some other tools. And the handbook. Okay, also, Melody also kindly included some glaze. This doesn't usually come in the kits, but she already knew about my work and I guess she knows that I love color. Look how beautiful these little, they're like pri almost primary colors, you can't really see. They're also dried up because of how long it's taken me to use them. So I'm gonna have to see if I can reactivate those because I'm not sure if I'll be able to. But I'm happy if I just make plain clay thing anyway. We'll need a bowl of water, table space that can get dirty old plastic card, wine bottle or rolling pin to roll out clay, wooden spatula to pack, pack clay. So I didn't read this before I put everything out and decided to make this video. I don't have a rolling pin. I'm sure I can like DIY it. What else did it say? A bowl of water I can definitely do. Apron or clothes that can get dirty. <laughs> I don't have an apron or clothes that can get dirty. I definitely don't want this dress to get dirty. Oh, the wine bottle and everything else is an optional extra. Yay! Okay, I can do it today. So the, it shows you how to do pinch pots. There's also a video you can follow. Yeah, so I want to do like volcano or mountain shape. So I think a pinch pot will be fine. There's a co there's also an option to do coiling. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, let's hope that I can make something cool. I don't know if I'll be able to, but we'll see. I'm scared. I haven't done anything like this for a long time. And also, I don't really think well in 3D space at all like when i thought about the interior of my studio i was like having the worst ideas ever once i did a project where i had to make like a a mask out of paper and it was just the work i just made something that looked like a cylinder kind of like what i'm doing today actually i think it was like a volcano as well <laughs> i think this is a good introduction for me who knows where it will lead me maybe it'll lead me nowhere but also at least i'll have like a painting water thing unless it explodes in the kiln in which case oh uh, sorry everyone <laughs> Don't know what I'm gonna do about the glaze. I'll have to look up how to reactivate it. So we're gonna be using my light box because it's made of glass. Let's just hope it doesn't ruin it because that's an expensive work surface to get dirty, but I definitely don't want my workbench to get dirty. So let's see, let's see. I've gotta get a bowl of water. I've got this. Is this kind of like a bowl of water, just a glass? Let's just hope that's fine. I'm so scared I could die. This is gonna be a disaster. I honestly think this is gonna be a disaster. <laughs> this clay's a little bit dry, but like, cause it feels quite hard. But let's see, shall we? Ugh. Ugh, okay. <sighs> Here's to trying new things, everyone. I'm scared. This could be an epic flop. 
but let me lead by example. It's okay to be crud at things sometimes, I guess. <laughs> look, look at this little stamp. Do you see? It's got Melody's like stamp on it. I think that's really cute. Okay, it, this is gonna be a pinch pot. Maybe I should put some aside and see actually how much I use because maybe I won't need to make one so big and I can also make something else. Honey, do you need anything that's clay? Maybe I'll make you a clay lens cap. <laughs> I just want to use this essentially. How does one do this without killing themselves? Because like, I feel like it's going to slice my hands. Is this how you do it? This feels so hard, it's hurting. I don't think I'm supposed to, what I think I'm supposed to do is wrap it around. Because I surely I'm not supposed to be putting the wire against my skin because it feels like it's cutting my hand. Baby, I don't like being a noob. It makes me feel uncomfortable. It's, it's good, it's good fun. I don't feel fun, I feel scared. I'm gonna make myself a mountain. I'm gonna make myself a mountain. I'm gonna make myself a mountain. <laughs> it's still on my skin. How does one do this? Oh, I think actually you're supposed to go like this. Why do I feel like I'm supposed to be? Ah! Oh, it's learning. It's okay not to know. It's learning. Okay. I wanna put some aside because I don't think I'm gonna need all of it. So, in this little zine, it says that I should be start by pinching, pinching, pinching. So the weird thing is, I want this to be like a mountain, so the it's gonna be like, kind of like a cup, but then it, I wanna, oh, let me show you. So basically what I'm imagining is a thing like this, where it's like, whoop. And then maybe we can do something like this, or we can do something like this. But basically, it the reason I wanted to do this is because it's impossible to knock over if it's this shape, if it's more of like a pyramid with a top cut off, if you know what I mean. Am I even doing this right? Should I be doing the coil method, do you think? You know what's scary about this? Like, you're, you need to just risk it and then see if it works out. That's just scary. I'm also worried that my hands are gonna get really dry because I'm pretty sure that happens. Well, I know like when you use a clay mask, it dries out your pores. So like, I can't imagine my already dry hands becoming even more dry. This posture is so not good. I remember, something I remember from like clay, class is that it shouldn't be more than like one or two centimeters thick or something although those are very different thicknesses so that's kind of pointless information i feel like i'm a bit stunted with clay because in year eight we had a substitute teacher and my class was really naughty but i remember someone threw clay onto the fan and it like I don't know if it got stuck to the ceiling or something. But then when our teacher came back, she was like, rightly so, really upset. And she was like, we are not doing practical at all this term. We are doing only theory. So I never really learned how to, like I missed out on that, the first class that we had for clay. And then we did it again in year nine or year 10, but I feel a bit disadvantaged. This is what I want to make, but I don't think I'll be able to make it now. Cause how am I supposed to close the top? Maybe this isn't the best method. Maybe I should be doing a coil pot. Okay, change of plan. I'm gonna quickly make a coil pot instead. Coil pots, it says. Melody says they're easier to manipulate for tall things or whatever. So I'm gonna use this still as the base and then I'll use little bits as coils. Oh, I feel scared. I hate this feeling. Maybe I need to do this more so this feeling's not as scary, but I need to make a disc. But what size disc, you ask? I don't know. So maybe this size. I think this is about one centimeter, but do I need to get a ruler? Uh-oh. Oh yeah, I think it's about one centimeter. Very good. Then what do I do? Then I gotta make my coils, but I also have to make a slurry. I'm gonna make a slurry in this. I don't know if this is enough slurry for one lady, but we'll see. So you put a bit of clay. I remember this slightly and a bit of water. I don't really know how to mix it, but perhaps it just easily mixes and looks really awesome in a second. If I ruin this dress, mark my words, I'll be very upset. Is this how I'm meant to do it? Does anyone know? The problem with clay is <laughs> it's not consequenceless. Like if I don't do it right, it could explode. If I don't do an illustration right, that's fine. Like no one cares, it's not gonna explode. Is this enough slurry? Does it need to be thicker? I'll say it's fine. That was really easy to make. This is where a rolling pin would come in handy. This looks ugly. <laughs> Do I do this? Wow, that really works. Wow, no one told me I could use this tool. This is gonna be a bit crooked though. Who's messaging me? Stop it, I'm busy making a clay masterpiece. Now I'll begin making my coils. Coils are just like snakes. <laughs> On the pottery show, they do this. 
Oh no, but they do it really well and I might not do it well. <gasps> I didn't do it well. No, no, no. We're making the coils, coils, coils. We're making the coils, coils, coils. Is that gonna go all the way around? Almost, just a bit longer. The problem is I put water down and now the whole work surface is slippery. I'm a noob and noobs make mistakes. I know, I don't know if this is the right tool to use, but I know that I have to do this because I remember it from class. I remember having to score like the actual coil, but I don't know if that's the truth. And the worst part of all, I'm making it into a video. So if I fail, everyone will know. It's not secret. Telegram to the world that I don't know what's going on. Oh baby, I'm not a ceramicist. I'm not a clay master. I'm just a clay loser. So thin. No, this is awful. You have a hole inside. A hole? Yeah. Where? No! There's a hole! No! How am I supposed to put my paint water in that? This is awful. Baby, should I start again? I need a leader. I need a teacher. I'm gonna do what originally it was which is a thing i'm going back to the start it's called uncertainty okay and it's called whatever don't judge me that's what it's called how do i push this ball back together this is life can i make something by doing this because this feels so good to smooth it out like oh okay good just new <laughs> look at the ball <laughs> okay this is a good starting point again guys take two let's start again you know how i said it's take two. It's not truly take two because I'm so thirsty. This is delicious. Back to take two first. I'm going to do the pinch pot thing again. We got a COVID test the other day, which is the first COVID test I'd ever done. Rocket's done COVID test before, so he knew what to expect. But I was very scared because I was like, I just don't want to vomit on the people because I'm scared they'll just stick. I thought they were going to stick something way down my throat or something, like all the way back. They didn't do that at all. So they were really nice, actually. And it, it was just ticklish. And then I sneezed a lot, like a lot, like 20 times or something but yeah that was fine and then I had my I, the reason I had to get my COVID test was because I had like an interview in the studio with Adobe so they had like three people come in or three or four people here so everyone had to get COVID tested prior to the shoot so that we know that we don't have COVID there's obviously other measures in place like safety measures in place but that was one of them and I just wanted to tell you that I got COVID tested because I thought it was like such a funny experience also I had like we were bringing my pot plant to the studio so that my studio looked a little bit greener in the um, Adobe video the lady was like are you transporting the plant <laughs> As if like maybe there was a possibility that I would just carry a plant, a giant pot plant on my on my lap any time of day in the car. But it did actually look really lush, so maybe it was a nice surprise. To anyone nervous about getting COVID tested, do not be. It's actually fine. And usually, well, from my one experience, they're really nice, even though you will probably go to a different testing place than me what i'm trying to do is i want the top to be in so i'm trying to make sure i'm only pinching the insides down if that makes sense maybe i should do the carving out <laughs> maybe i'm changing my plan every few seconds if you imagine this is what i submit <laughs> definitely explode. melody here's my masterpiece do you think i should get into ceramics so it was also father's day and my mum's birthday which are both very close together so that was like the first celebration besides Asia's birthday. Asia's my little sister. Asia's birthday in COVID. It was we. It's weird to like not be able to see your family, isn't it? It's strange because three months ago we were we were able like Sydney since probably after a month or two of the start of the pandemic, we've been like normal. Like we've had to check in when we go to cafes and stuff like that. And obviously wear masks on public transport and in busy places like like shopping centers and stuff. Other than that, it's felt really, really normal. And so to go back into this, it kind of sucks. Like now I know what the rest of the world was feeling like. So I feel like I didn't even appreciate being free at all. Like we didn't really, we didn't even go to the apple orchard, not once. And I was like, I'm going to go so many times this year to get that hot apple juice that I love ever so much. We didn't even go one time. And I was just like, now I'm like regretting it. Like maybe life isn't about working too much. Maybe life is about enjoying your life or something. Who knew? No one told me that. <laughs> the thing is, I really enjoy work. So I don't put enough, like I'm not like escaping it but maybe i have to pretend i hate it so that i can escape it so that i can actually do things so i don't regret it when we go into lockdown again this is a gum nut <laughs> oh i think i can do it like this 
There was a technique in the zine thing that was like this though. I just have to make sure it's thin enough because I know that if I don't make it thin enough it'll explode in the kiln and then what if other pieces are in there and it ruins everything? Oh baby, this is going to be hideous. I don't even think I can have this on my desk. <laughs> How do people do this? This is going to be like baking where I don't properly read the instructions and then it turns out wrong and I'm like, why? Why can't I do this? I feel like I was better at this in high school, which is sad because I feel like if I've done it before, shouldn't I be okay at it now? I should get classes from Melody because this is a disaster, love. Baby, yeah. I think you're dating an idiot. No, I'm not. This doesn't look like a volcano. I'm so bad at 3D works, it's embarrassing. Oh. This tool broke. Let's face it, it was probably my fault. Ah! I put a finger hole in it. No, ah! It happened again! It's okay, I've come, okay, if it doesn't work out, lesson learned, read instructions, okay? That will be the moral of this story if it doesn't work out. I'm really bad at reading instructions because I'm just like, oh, I can't be bothered to read instructions. I just want to make things. And so far in my life, that's turned out fine, besides the baking and other things that aren't illustration. Dude, dude, oh, this is actually not too bad, the shape. Huh, it's as if the moral of the story is keep going, don't just give up. <laughs> Guys, this is what we're looking at right now. I don't know if you can see it on the inside, but it looks really bad on the inside. So I think I have to clean it up somehow with my finger, but it's looking, oh my gosh, it's looking a, a little bit better than it did before, which I'm happy about. <sighs> okay, so maybe it's fine. I launched my store like almost two weeks ago, so it's almost closed now. It was such a good store launch again. Like, I don't know why, but every time before a store launch, I feel sick. Like, I feel like, oh my gosh, I've ordered all this stuff. And what if no one wants it? And I'm first of all stuck with all this stuff. I invested so much. I just get so scared that no one will want the stuff I'm making. So anyway, the store launch went really well. So thank you everyone who bought something. It's always such a surprise. Obviously I put so much love into the stuff that I make, but I never know like how it will be received. I try to make cute stuff that I want to see in the world and that would make the world a little brighter. And it's always nice to see that other people still want that too. So thank you everyone who supported my last store launch. It was really nice. And like, even if you just shared it or whatever, or just even checked it out. Like I'm so appreciative. Yesterday, Rocket and I did a free trial of a streaming service that we saw advertised on like this YouTuber that we watched. And it's like, it's kind of like Netflix, but it's for like art house films, which sounds like super pretentious, but I was so excited that when we heard about it. Last night we watched the first movie because we got it yesterday and we got like a 3.30 day trial. I think the YouTuber's name is like Mr. Flight or something. What's it called, baby? Thomas Flight or Mr. Flight or something. Uh, he makes videos about like movies and stuff. It's really good. But anyway, I recommend it so far. Yesterday's movie, I enjoyed watching it, but I didn't like the movie because I didn't really like know what was happening and also I didn't know how to feel about some things because I was like, is this a joke or not? It was called Yellow Cap. I think it was set in Kazakhstan or at least it was filmed there. The landscapes there were amazing. That's something I really enjoyed about it was the landscapes. And also on top of that, like in the description, it's like this primary colored film. I was like primary color. There's a lot of focus on blue, which I was like, I don't know about if I like these ratios, but it was still, it was enjoyable to watch just because it was different. So we'll see if we stick with it. I'll keep you updated. So I looked at this on my desk and I was like, oh, maybe I should make it, try, kind of try and make it this shape. So I don't know if I can, but I'll try. The problem with me is I just keep changing my idea, all right? So I don't know what's gonna happen with that. It would be good if I could, is this a thing? Is this a technique? It could be. Who says you can't combine techniques? Why is that so thin? Is it because I shaved the inside and I wasn't supposed to? Is that why? Let's just try and attach it like we do a coil, shall we? <laughs> so dodgy. Do imagine I could leave, I imagine I could make a face. That would be quite cool. Do I dare? Do I dare try? Do I dare try? Like, should I do it? I think I should do it because otherwise it's just a normal pot. It's quite cute. <laughs> That's cute. Maybe it could be a vase if it doesn't work as a pencil holder. 
What do you think of this? I think there needs to be some smoothing done. But maybe it's cool. Okay, I'll leave this here for now. Kind of cute, I guess. Is there something I can make out of this extra clay? I hope um, this video is interesting. I wanted to do something a little bit smaller, first of all, because sometimes the studio vlogs can be really, really difficult to edit um, or just like really time consuming. And I don't have a lot of time this month. I'm really worried about that. Um, but also because, sorry about the sound. <laughs> <laughs> it's like squishy, probably squishy as I tell you. Also because like a lot of the stuff I'm doing this month is not, I feel like it's not going to be super interesting to document. Stuff like lots of emails, lots of planning for commercial work, lots of planning for like sponsored content. I've got a lot of, a, a couple jobs with Samsung, which is just like, because they just had a launch of their new phone. So that's something that I'm going to be focusing on this month. Um, I'm also going to be doing Peachtober, but the problem with the Peachtober stuff Oh, P.S. My pitch table list is out. You should check it out if you want to join. Last year we had 75,000 plus entries, which I don't know how many people that is participating every day, but divided by 31. I'm really excited. I released it early this year because a lot of people said that they would like some time to plan. And I think that's fair. Things like ceramics and textiles take a lot longer. So yeah, so I've, I've released it early. I'm hoping that people don't start posting it early. I've already seen some people post it early and I'm like... <laughs> I didn't want that to happen. That's why I usually release it closer to October because the fun part for me, like selfishly, is just seeing it all together on the day. So if people are releasing it early and they're not gonna post it on the day, it's kind of like ruins my my enjoyment of Peachtober. Um, but I just posted it. I made a bunch of colors. Click on my link in my Instagram. You can download them high res. I wanted to, people to be able to post them each day if they wanted to so that people could refer to the list and join halfway through if they hadn't seen it yet. So if you guys wanna join Peachtober, please be my guest. There are no rules, it's just like, post your entry on the day and be inspired by the prompts somehow there's no mediums that it has to be stuff like that it's all about having fun and like joining a community which is why i like peach Tober because i found that when i used to do inktober it was really like the prompts were sometimes very abstract and like all i wanted to do was just be able to join it and do it every day the challenge for me was making something every day and joining in this challenge but some of the prompts for like inktober for example something that's more abstract what is it like things like not that aren't things whereas with peach Tober, i try and make it something that's a simple idea or a thing so it could be literal or something that means two things for example last year i did woods uh wood i think and that could mean forest or that could mean like a plank of wood or that could be something made out of wood so i try and make it so that the prompts are stuff that there could be a lot of ideas made out of it baby you know what i'm gonna make out of the leftover clay i can make you an sd card holder do you think you would use it it's broken use, now use an sd Okay, so I'm gonna try and make Rocket an SD card holder for his little SD cards. I want it to look like a little box, but I don't know if this is just not gonna work. Like, I just don't know how this stuff works. One day you're happy. Think it's gonna be from now on. How can you know what they're thinking of? Okay, are we ready? What does it mean? <coughs> Wait for that freight train to leave. Hello everyone! For you, it's been a few mere seconds. For me, it's been not that long, like maybe a week or something, but Melody dropped back my fired piece. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to show you guys what I did and to actually find out because I haven't looked yet. I've been, I was like, can you please wrap it in tissue so I don't peek at it accidentally, like if I look into the bag, because I don't want to see it yet. It could be a disaster, it could be great, who's to know. But before we check, I just want to say thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video as per usual. This video has been all about trying new things and Squarespace ad reads are always for people that haven't tried Squarespace, so I think it's fitting. When I I moved to Squarespace I had already been fatigued by trying a bunch of other platforms who, who did I try I try I probably gonna have to bleep this out but I tried I tried I tried I tried of course I had my tumblr but none of those things were really working for me I didn't like the experience of actually making the website in the back end but I also didn't enjoy 
so much the look of the website, but Squarespace, it's easy to customize. Beautiful on the back end, not just when what you see when you're on the website. It's beautiful when you're actually making it and putting it together. If you haven't tried it, I really recommend it, especially if you're thinking of starting your business or if you're looking to elevate your business. If you're looking to open a shop, if you're looking to open a blog, if you want to make a portfolio, it's perfect. Go to squarespace.com slash very little peach. You get a free trial and 10% off your first purchase. Did you hear my race through that? Because I was so excited to do this. Okay. Baby, do you want to come look at this while I do this? Baby, I'm scared. Why is she scared? Because it could be so bad. Oh my oh god, this god. is gonna be so embarrassing. First look, oh my god, it feels so cool. It's like glazed. Oh my god, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. It feels cool. Oh, it's cute. Oh, that's so good. Wow, that is so cute. That's so nice. It's a little bit like clunky, I have to say, but that's like really just my fault. Once it's glazed, it's like, yeah, it's meant to look like that. I know. I'm even just like looking at just plain clay, like swatching that. And I'm like, that looks so yeah. good. Yeah. Are you saying that the, the embellishments are not nice? Look at the inside. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. So this is going to, I don't even know if I can use this as a paint water thing, but I love it. Jeez Louise. Look, I'm going to use it as a paint water thing, but look, I don't even I know. I see, like, does it look like it's... Yeah, I did a bad job under there. Don't look at that. Well, I'm just trying to think like if if you were to put Don't water drop in it, there, please. It took me a long would, time. <laughs> is it watertight? I love it. The glaze is so fun, isn't it? I thought it was pink and yellow, but it, I guess it was white and yellow. But oh my gosh. Yeah. I love okay, it. looks like it's I'll great. be doing more. I possibly broke an SD card for this. Oh, did Melody include something? <gasps> Some tea. That's so sweet. She's always so lovely. Now, I made this for you. It's an SD card holder, my love. <laughs> What, how I did this, I don't think I got it on camera, but I basically used an actual SD card that I thought was broken because Rick was like, oh, this is broken, but it didn't mean that I could just put it in the clay and shake it around in the clay. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't fit. Uh-oh. Okay, one fits. Well, she did say it would shrink, but I did think I made it a little bit bigger, but I have to say the only one that fits in, like, only fits in this much. What can we use this for then? Baby, I'm sad, baby. I'm sure. Can we drill it? It's the thought that counts. Wait, I guess you can put them in the side like this. Yeah, they can sit sideways. That's fine. Who's to say they can't sit sideways? Do and you have look, any more? You know what's even better? I can be like, oh, ready to format, leans left. Ready to use, leans right. It's almost like you planned it. Yeah, that's what I did. I'm so happy. Okay, guys, moral of the story is try new things because it could be awesome and it could make you feel like maybe you could do more stuff. My son. Do I think it's the best piece ever? No. Do I think that it's better than I expected and like the glaze makes it so cute and I didn't expect the clay to look like this? Yes. Obviously, when, before I started, I was like, it's gonna be more dainty. It's gonna be more refined. But now that it's glazed, it kind of like, it's okay that it's like that. I'm so happy. I was honestly like, if I unbox this and I'm like, I'm depressed. It would be such a bad, like, end to the video. But oh my gosh, it's so cute. I made a new friend. I physically made it. <laughs> this is the kind of friends you want. Ones that you can mold from a ball of nothing. Guys, moral of the story, we're going to try more new things. Do you think I should do more of these videos? Because I have a lot of art materials that I've never tried. Some of them are, like, really cheap stuff from variety stores. And some are not. But it would be fun to, like force me to try them because I think it's difficult for me to start. Let me know if you guys like this video. I know it was very chatty and I know it was kind of manic because I was like very stressed about the clay and all over the place. But I don't know if it's hilarious to watch or if it's a bit, just a bit concerning to watch. So you let me know. Sorry, but my son is just so beautiful. I think this is what it's going to be like if I have a baby to be like, ah, uh, my sweet shiny son or daughter or NB pal. So cute. Okay, I'm so excited now. What can I do? I could do so much. I gotta go.